Welcome back to JDC. <laughs> Welcome back to the JDC podcast. Welcome back to the JDC podcast. Welcome back to the JDC podcast. <laughs> Could be a scratch. It's that road, bro. I fucking. It's that road. That road is cursed, bro. No, bro. That bitch is just stupid. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm telling you that road. Yo, is that road is cursed too, bro. Remember that, bro? There was someone that died on that road like last week. Yeah. Oh, I see. They died. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I thought you told me they died. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I just guessed the shit. I, yeah. drove, I drove by and they were like laid out on the road. I don't know if they died though. Oh, shit. Like they was just there. And I'm you know, it was crazy, and it was like, and like the driver had. To Why would you say Facts. that? Facts. Damn, it's on record now. We keep Facts. it. We're recording. We yeah, it. I've been recording for a minute. What and the fuck? Is the camera we even keep on? It. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just been on. recording. That's We're the introduction, bro. Oh, no, no, facts. That's Welcome back to the JDC podcast. podcast. Who we here with? Chris. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, God damn. One of Franklin's finest for real, though. We in the spot with D Chris, you know what I'm saying? What you been on, bro? How you been? Man, just working, grinding. Yeah, moved out of Jersey. Damn. For just moving out of Jersey in itself, it's just like a whole like it's like a lot of getting used to and everything. You know what I mean? But just moving to like a Amish town, like from Jersey to a Amish town is just like a lot of getting used to, but I'm chilling now over there and everything. I got my life together. We got a crib. I'm living with my girl. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, we got everything together. Damn, yeah, we just, you know what I mean? We just trying to keep to, like keep it pushing, you know? Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Shout out Congrats, to you bro. girl out here moving out. Shit. Are you guys <laughs> renting or you, you got a mortgage? Nah, like we own the crib. We, Damn. You know I mean? We got a mortgage. Mm, fly. That boy yeah. ahead of so, the game. For real, though. Yeah, you already know. It's been... It's a, it's, it's a lot getting used to, you know what I mean? Just moving... Uh, living at your mom's crib, just not really having like a brother or sister you know what i mean you don't really live with nobody you don't have to take nobody shit for real like my mom's always at work i'm always You're a single child bro? yeah damn mm. sad always at the crib by myself you know what i mean then just moving in with your girl you got to be more patient learn how to oh, like you know what i mean like at all that it comes with a it's so it's just been like a like a roller coaster of smacks the camera yeah <laughs> of, a, of a bunch of things you know what i mean like you ever got mad at your girl for something Yo, what's what's funny is, bro, when we first moved in, my game room was in, like, upstairs with all her stuff in, like, her closet, her beauty room and everything. Mm -hmm. So, like, we used to get into some, like, headbutts, and then I used to be pissed, so I'd go hop on the game, and then she just walk right in between, <laughs> right, you know what right, I mean? Right. So, it's like, we not talking, we arguing, but she got to keep walking in front of me, like, so I took all my stuff one day and just went downstairs. Damn, <laughs> How long y'all been together? We've been together about to be... we moving on three years. Damn, Damn bro. bro. Three fucking years? Holy shit. And y'all got the crib? Think about marriage? Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most deaf. Okay, China. okay. China. okay. Definitely put a ring. He definitely knows she listened to this, so... <laughs> nah, nah, it's not... Yeah, it's not yeah. even to, like, have to, but Just everything, like, we went through and everything, bro. Right? It's just... Oh, it's a must. I feel that. I feel that, bro. But nah, bro, what's it like living in an Amish uh, town? Yeah, I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even know that I'd end up working with, like, some Amish dudes for real. But, like, just finding a job, found, like, this roofing thing. They said they were Christian, very Christian. So I'm like, mm. I don't know what it could be. It could be anything, you know what I mean? They just say be very respectful. I know how to be respectful, so it's all good. Mm. Hey. Is that, that's what that is? Amish people are just, like, extremely devoted Christians? What? Who knows? I thought it was like a whole other thing, you know? It's like kind of like they're secluded from everybody. They don't they don't talk to you for real. They'll just they just they well, go right on with by. their daily lives like simplistic. Like they don't mm -hmm. they don't use electricity. They ride a horse and buggy. No cars. No, uh, their ID don't even have a picture on them. They don't take pictures. Damn. Damn. But like So yeah. how do you what? How do you know that it is them? That's one thing for sure them, like what the hell? You, uh, you could get an Amish ID and it, it just has a name, no picture. But what's that thing that uh, Fredo was talking about that they got over there? The niggas that are in the cult. Those are the Mormons. You're talking the about Mormons. Mormons. Yeah. yeah. So that, those them. two are like nothing alike? No. I wouldn't say they are. No, they're not. Mm. These people are a bit more like, they're just like respectful people. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, they, they're they like, a, a, they try to help with whatever. Like, some happens, like, God forbid a house burns down. They're up there trying to fix that shit. Like, they get That's a group of them. And they, they just start building you a house. Like, they just, you know Damn, what I mean? They're, they're that's what's up. respectful. Like, getting to, like, 
and be around them. Like I'm in a group with me, my boss is Amish. I got I'm working with three three different Amish coworkers like on a daily. David, Elam, <laughs> and the other one's name is um Leroy. Shout out yeah. shout out to all of them. Shout out to all of them, yo. They, they're dope as fuck people. They're dope people. But um yeah, yo, just being around them, it's just all you gotta be real respectful, like because like they they you know what I mean they play around, they'll throw a couple curses here and there, but you know mm-hmm. they listen to like church music on the radio mm-hmm. or just no radio at all. You gotta ride silent. They don't do none of that, like so it's just like a lot of getting used to. You know what I mean? It's just the Amish people, yo. They're they're a little weird, but <laughs> it's cool, yo. I went fishing with them the other day. We went to a Applebee's. That shit sounds yeah, funny, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, like fishing uh, with them. Oh, fishing with them. Oh, it was a movie. Them. Like just hopping on a like, boat for the first time, fishing. Wait, what kind of boat was it? Was it like a, a little wooden boat that you got to paddle? No, no, no. Oh, because yeah, yeah, like, no, they no. can't use electricity. So. <laughs> yeah, no, no. no. They, they, they'll like hop on a like a like a. It was a boat owned by other people, so like the other mm. people would drive and stuff. So they they, they the use the electricity. Nah, yeah, we, they we're just own. on the boat. My boss owns a uh. car. I don't know how that works. I guess it's like if you're a business owner, you could own a car for like your business and everything, but they don't drive it nowhere. They have a driver. They always got to hire a driver. Anywhere they go, they're wow. in a horse and buggy for real, for real. Mm. That Damn. shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Yeah, my, boss got got a horse. my boss got a horse. Like everywhere you he ever, goes. You ever like, ride it? No, no, no. Would you ride it? What if he was like, yo, you know what I mean? I got the horse over here. Fuck it. I, I'll yeah, pay for you to get like some training and shit. I got the dude here. You want to <laughs> ride it? Like, yeah, ride my horse. They don't, the thing is, they don't get on top of it. You feel me? They got like a buggy. Like a buggy in mm-hmm. the back. Oh, like a carry? Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, like, yeah, like, I've seen like, that when I'm going. You know right? what I mean? Like they got like the horses in the, they got a horse in the front yeah, pulling like the their family in the, the back. back. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, facts. out of curiosity, like, what's the demographic out there? Because growing up in Franklin, like, we've seen a lot of different races. Diversity, So what's bro. it like out there? It's, uh, I'm not even going to lie. It's, like, a lot of, like, Karens. Yeah. Damn. Uh, just, like, got your Dominicans on some parts. Really? Yeah, yeah. like, where I'm from, like, the street that I live on, it's mostly, like, Dominican people. Damn. So, like, you hear music at night sometimes over there, but then you go, like, t- Everywhere is like a drive though. Like yeah, everywhere. Facts. Like the closest to eat is like fifteen twenty, fifteen twenty, thirty here, thirty there. And in New Jersey, I don't know, I'm used to everything Fuck, being walk like two bucks. Yeah, you can yeah, walk to so your right nearest, there. like, you know what I mean? But like it's it, that's a little different. But like mm-hmm. other than that, it's like basically a bunch of farmland. Like yeah, a facts, lot huh? of farmland. Like where I'm like where I work, like where I meet up with my coworkers and everything in the morning, that's lit it's so like that's a lot of like farmland in itself. A lot of Amish, that's like a big Amish community over there. So yeah, it's like just a lot, it's like spacious. Right. Like everything is just a drive. Like you gotta go mad far to go here and there. Mm. It's a little annoying, but I got used to it. <laughs> at, this point, at this point, do you feel like they accepted you as one of their own? They definitely uh, don't accept me as an yeah. Amish, but like, <laughs> they, they, you'll never they, be they one of them. They definitely like, uh, like, my, yeah. They definitely like the ones that I work with are cool with me. Like, mm. they, like, I be having like meetings and everything with them, and we all chat, chit chat in the car. We have long drives to where we be having to like go and work and stuff right. like that. I do roofs, so like, I chat with them in the whip. Yeah, it's like they. When you get to know them, they start joking around with you more. Mm. Like, they're more open. They're, like, mm. they talk to you more. But at first, it's, like, real, like, 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 um. Standoff. Uh, yeah. Like, they'll they'll just, like, t- like tell you what, whatever they got to tell you, and that's it. Like, they'll barely have a convo with right. you. Mm. But the more, you know what I mean? Like, they see that. They probably thought I was probably working there for, like, a week and about to quit. You feel me? Mm. Like, because they, they had a lot of people that pulled up. Like, I've been through that where someone pulled up, worked a week, and just quit. Facts. So it was like he they probably thought I was one of those, you feel me, at first. So it was like it took a while for them to warm up. Mm-hmm. But after a while they start joking around with you in their yeah. Amish ways, like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah you feel me? Yo, how do they joke though? Like I'm just wondering, like, what's the jokes about? Um, like, pull your pants down. Yeah, they're like they're, what? they do they do a, like a lot of mocking. Like so like if you say something they that they find like funny, like we had somebody uh a white guy that that we uh we did a roof for we um after we finished the roof he had said something about like us being ballsy for us being on his roof or whatever or something mm-hmm. like that so now they'll joke around and be like oh ballsy they call him ballsy <laughs> like <laughs> what the hell? 
so like they'll just they mock a lot of people you feel me and then mm. i got david my uh, my foreman he'll like you you won't think like they'll curse or whatever but they'll be like they'll throw a couple curses at you just catch you off guard the uh, we pull up to stores they'll be like oh what you trying to buy condoms oh damn. like they'll, they'll, you feel me they're not dumb like they they joke around how they can you feel me they don't take it that deep but yeah do you they prefer do you prefer living out there or living here, which is like, what what is this like suburban, like almost a city but not quite? Mm, I don't know what you would call it. Urban, Suburb, urban, urban, suburban. Yeah, it's yeah. like urban. I definitely um, I feel like I like it out here. Uh, I think me and my girl's plan was to actually move back to Jersey, mm. not maybe in this area, but like somewhere else, you know, like somewhere, cause nice. yeah, yeah, somewhere nice in Jersey, but cause I. Me and me and her like when she comes out here she fucks with it heavy mm -hmm. like you know what I mean but the thing is just like her moving far from her parents mm -hmm. you feel me like it's hard on her sometimes so we're not trying to do that at this moment but definitely like I, I fuck with the New Jersey environment like I'm not trying to say I don't like where I, where I'm at right now it's definitely like calm mm -hmm. um, there's different types of laws so like I fuck with like the gun laws out there more than the gun laws out here for sure because like, me and my girl strapped. Hey. But we it's hard to like it's a little process out here i know that for sure in jersey yeah. it's not the same thing like you walk into a gun store in pa it's like walking into a a, a vape shop like pick which one you want and just damn. grab it like oh damn you what you me? got so what like, you got yeah oh we just we just got a little glocky um. <laughs> for you know first first strap but yeah um it's a it's like little things that each place has but i definitely fuck with just environmentally new jersey just a little bit more. I feel like Jersey's a good biased. mix. You know? Yeah. Like, if you want to get secluded and go out into nature, you got the option. Cool, like, 30 minutes away. If you want to go to the city, you got Brunswick right there. Facts, huh? The beach. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, y'all don't got beaches out there. Yeah, nah, like, where we went fishing, we had, it was like a three-hour drive. Damn. Off a of, it was like off a lake off Baltimore, somewhere in Baltimore, like. God damn. First time I've ever been in Baltimore. Um, was it nice? Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not to shit on Baltimore, but it was just, I guess the places we was passing through look like Newark. Damn. Like, yeah, Baltimore, Maryland looks like that, bro. Yeah, honestly. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I got a question shady. for you, bro. Like, you had mentioned, like, your girls, they don't, or like, y'all both don't want to move far away from your girls' parents. But, like, how does it feel for you moving away from PA from your entire family? Yeah, nah, it was, um... It was definitely a roller coaster of emotions moving away from my mom's, to be honest. Um, at first, it was just days where I would cry, to be honest. Like, I would, shed, I would definitely cry because, like, it was so hard. <laughs> like, being away. Bro, why are you <laughs> laughing, bro? See, that's his homie, so he just laughs at me. Yeah, it. feel me? I'm like, like damn, cuz. Yeah, I'm doing this shit right now. <laughs> I'm not I'm, saying it was every I'm day, but, like, shit. once in a while, you feel me? Just talking to my mom on the phone, it's not right. the same as having her right here. Yeah, before. like, you like, just miss her, you know? Like, so. <laughs> have you, I, between that time, have you ever lived alone? Like, lived in a crib by myself type stuff? Like, before you, yeah, before yeah, you yeah. moved in with your girl and before, like, after you left your mom, was there a time where you had to be by yourself? Uh, nah, basically I was, um, I was with, it was me and my parents from when I was young. Mm -hmm. They split, uh, when I was like 11, 12. So then after that, I was living with my mom's basically up until I moved out mm -hmm. with my girl. Um, I, I just turned 21 back in October. Holy shit. So like. Wait, hold on, nigga. How old are you? 21. Oh shit. Damn. You yeah. Guys are, bro. So like. <laughs> I feel like I didn't stay with my mom for too, too long. Mm -hmm. But, like, at the same time, it was definitely hard leaving her, not going to lie. But I definitely got used to it. It was just just not being with your mom's. Like, after being with her every day, like, you had yeah, somebody. Yeah, like your whole like, life. You feel me? Like, How did she feel when you told her that you were leaving? She was, I, I, from what I know, she, she, she tries to, like, be real, like, subtle with what she says. But I know, like. She be giving hints that she be sad, like, sometimes about it and stuff like that. She be sending me, like, sometimes we text and she'll send me, like, baby pictures. Aww. So I know she's, like, thinking, thinking about, about, like, oh, you know what I mean? Facts. Like, so that's when it hits, you feel me? But I try to, like, text, I, I try to, like, keep in contact with her, like, every other day or every day type stuff. That's what's up, bro. That's good oh, that yeah. you had a, a good relationship with your moms. Yeah, it was definitely up and down. Not gonna lie, but, like, it was, like... <laughs> <laughs> the side yeah it was just because <laughs> i feel like 
I don't know, like, just growing up, the way my parents split, it was when me and my mom's relationship got a little shady. Not shady, shady, but, like, it would be, like, I didn't trust her, you feel me, when I was young, which was something um, that came with, like, the people talking about each other in a divorce, I guess, you feel me, like, just going back and forth with the parents that don't like each other at the moment. Right, right. Uh, our, our relationship was, like, up and down. Up until I turned probably, like... Up until I was probably, like, a senior, junior in high school. After she found out I smoked weed, that shit pissed her (laughs) off. But, like, after that, she was pretty, like... Me and her got real close, like, real close. How did she find out? You told her, or did she just stumbled upon your weed? (laughs) Uh, I I feel like the real, real time she found out, it was just, like, me coming home, and you already know how them... (laughs) Like, smack, eyes, bloodshot, (laughs) right? It was, like, me coming from my cousin's house, you already know, aunt... Shout out to Ant. Shout hey, out to hey, Shout out to Ant. Yeah, just eyes all chinky, red. <laughs> she, she gives you a she'll like play it off. She'll be like, ah, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Uh, and I'll smell the hell out of me and be <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> what you been doing all night? And then it was, hey, that's, uh, it was uh, it was with my first car. I couldn't lock it. Mm-hmm. Damn. So she went down in my car one day and found I had like one of them little orange medical things. Yeah. Like the way well, pills coming from like Walmart. Yeah. I had that full of bud. No. And when I got home the next day, she sat down with me with the thing on the table and Ooh. had that talk. <laughs> but she ended up giving it back to me on some things. You feel me? It was like a long talk we had. Where I had to like sway her to like, <laughs> yeah. it was like, I don't know what I said, but whatever I said worked because she kind of like leaned off. That's low key what I did with my parents, except I did that over the course of like a year where I would basically just like, you know, give them like hints and shit that I was doing it, but more like I would just talk about it and I'd be like, oh, I read this study about cannabis. Like, you know, they're saying it's good for, for this and that and whatever, you know. And it's like, oh, we're learning about weed in school and you're saying <laughs> this and that, you know. And it really helps with all of this shit, whatever, blah, blah. It helps with pain. And my dad had got uh, hit by a car and, like, his lower spine is, like, fucked up. He got he, chronic pain. Like, this shit ain't ever going away. And I was like, damn, you know, none of this shit works. Like, maybe you should try weed. Maybe that should have helped, you know. And then I came out. I was like, yeah, I smoke weed. I've been doing it for a couple years now. Damn. damn. And then they were like, hmm. I was like, I don't really do it that much, but I do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, shit, let me get a hit. Yeah, damn. Shit. I gave my dad an edible one time. <laughs> right. Yo, I gave him I gave him a punch bar. Oh, Not the whole shit. thing, just a piece. Bro. Okay. This thing was punch dumb, bars bro. is crazy though. I gave him one square and I was like, all right, like, that's good. You good? Like, you know, don't take no more, because that's twenty five milligrams. That'll fuck yeah, so me he up. Knew. Yeah, he knew. Oh, okay, okay. And then yeah, imagine if he didn't do oh, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing though, like fifteen minutes later. He's like, let me get another piece. Oh, I'm shit. like, no, nigga, you don't want another piece. He's like, bro, just give it to me. I'm like, all right, whatever. I give him that shit, bro. Man. I know he was fucked up the next he day. The, he took that 50 thing, bro. bro. My mom hits me up the next day, and she's like, she's like, what was that thing that you gave your dad? Because he was still fucked up when he went to work. In the <laughs> and I'm like, I know he was. That's wild, though, bro. bro what the, what the fuck? fuck? But nah, they're cool with it, bro. I'm trying to smoke with my dad one time. I wish I could smoke with my dad, man. Me too. You know, with that? Nah, he's more of like a take a sip with me than, I mean, smoke with me. He's like cigarette, a cigarette man. guy, which Can't I'd, be, I'd rather you smoke some some weed than a cigarette. Facts. Facts. You feel me? But I guess just how they grew up back in the yeah, day. Yeah, back in their true. times, it was cool to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, you were a tough. fucking hippie if you were smoking weed. Yeah, true. there's no convincing now, them nowadays. Yo, can I ask you something, bro? Since you brought up your uh, your pops, right? Yo, is it true that Dominicans don't like black people? <laughs> yo, is it true? <laughs> like, yo, we're like some people. Yo, some Dominicans you'll hear say like we're part black. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's like, nah. I don't know. I have never met a Dominican that was like racist. Like, right, right. I don't know. Like, I know in DR they be having problems with the with the Haitians. With the Haitians. Yeah, like, facts. That I don't know too much about, but mm-hmm. I know like, yo, just one summer I went to DR. On the news, bro, some Haitian, they was just murking Haitians, to be honest. What? Damn. Yeah, like, on the news one summer, I was staying, I think, like, early, like, freshman, sophomore years, I would spend the whole summer in DR. Damn. So, like, I would see the news from time to time, and, yo, like, that shit was crazy. Like, in DR, 
they don't play. Like, if they want to kill you, they'll kill you right in front of wherever they're at. Yo, are there gay people in DR? It's despised <laughs> upon. Like, you get, <laughs> you're right, right. You get kicked out type Poor stuff. God like, damn. They don't fuck with that out there. For I can imagine, I bro. That. Bro, I think most Hispanic and Latino countries. Honestly, bro, I think most countries in the world besides, like, the U.S. and Europe don't really fuck with any of that. Like, if you go to Africa, bro, they out here passing laws. It's like, you're going to jail if you're gay. Oh, yeah. Right. You know? yeah. Maybe Australia might fuck with them. In Saudi them. Arabia, you get stoned, bro. Facts, bro. Real shit. They don't fuck with them. It's just over here. And Canada. Canada fucks with them heavy. In Saudi Arabia, it's a law. That I was seeing in the UFC that they was going to, like, Saudi Arabia and stuff. But the, one of the laws was not, you can't be gay. Yeah, Damn. Russia too. <laughs> That's the reason why WWE doesn't take gay wrestlers over there. Yeah, yeah. Really? Russia, Russia yeah. too. Really? That's why they kept Britney Griner. What? She's gay. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. It's though. all a ploy, bro. Yes. Damn. That's why you know what I mean. They like they fuck with you if like if they don't fuck with that. Damn, but it's you gotta think about it though. Like most of those countries, like Saudi Arabia, for example, like dumb shits. It's not America. That's what's it called that's like a religious state like the whole country is this is the religion yeah facts. it's not like america where you could be christian you could be muslim you could be jewish whatever it's like nah bro we're muslim that's what it is now for real though i feel like not i feel like i know in some places in the world you, women can't go out wearing like clothes like they wear out here like they have to be more covered mm-hmm. or whatever yeah like, they covered up like all from you gotta to wear toe, a hijab all just the, your eyes yeah and if you don't wear it i heard they're like entitled to like eat you put their hands on you type stuff i think unless i think married women could go out and like kind of show their face and stuff you know now imagine you go out to one of those countries with your girl your partner and like all of a sudden you get looked at by the by the locals there bro and they start looking at you with those eyes trying to beat your ass uh welcome back to the pod again we got interrupted a little bit but you know so we was talking about uh women Gays can't in DR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gays <laughs> in DR, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Shout out to DR though. Don't put that on there. the Dominicans. <laughs> nah, nah. I remember when I was there as a kid, bro. Like really, really young. Like I'm talking like probably like seven, eight. I was there cause uh my mom had some shit to do over there and she had uh gone there and lived with her uh, her friend, right? And I was just along for the ride type mm-hmm. shit, bro. Damn. I remember, bro, this is the thing about people from DR, bro, is, like, everybody's social, you know? Everybody is mad social, bro. I remember I would go to the pool or, like, the little water areas or whatever, and I remember there was this kid who was like, you going to do a backflip right now. Damn. And it, and it only takes a you want it for me to really yeah. want to do some shit, right? Yeah. Even as a kid. So I go up in the pool. I've never done a backflip before. I didn't even know how to swim, right? What the So fuck? I fuck around and do a backflip and start drowning, bro. <laughs> I did I start drowning Yo. in the fucking water, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, risk I don't remember, all. bro. Did it? I didn't know how to swim, bro. And I was in the water. You know when you open your eyes underwater, bro, your eyes start burning and shit? But er- er- all I looked, all I saw, bro, was my feet in the air, bro. Like, I couldn't bro. move. Like, it was mad weird, bro. It was mad weird. And I dead ass thought I was about to die, right? But, bro, this kid, he picked me up out the water, bro, and he took me to the bar in the pool. Like, that was motherfucker like, was strong as hell, hell bro. Yeah, I was in water. What you mean? <laughs> yeah, but st- he picked you up out the water. No, no, no. Oh, my fault. Kid. He picked me up because there's a, a bar in the pool, right? Oh, he picked so you up so that he would up, stand up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So he picked me up out bro, of the I'm water. I'm this nigga grabbed your fucking ankles and <laughs> just pulled you up. But he picked me up, bro, and he told the bartender, he's like, give me water, give me juice, type shit. And he got me some juice, bro, and I, I still remember that shit to this day. Shout yeah, out to yeah, you. Yeah, that's seen. a real nigga. He could have <laughs> let you die. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, yeah, bro, back to Chris, you know what I'm saying? Back to Chris. Moving in with your girl, bro. Um, Is there anything that, like, you'd want to tell people from around here that you haven't just gotten to connect with recently? Like, people that I haven't seen in a while type stuff since high school and stuff. Damn, yeah, bro. I haven't seen Jerry in a minute. Damn, Jerry. I've seen Boy, got a kid Yeah, I was trying to... The last... um, Before I uh, moved out, this was like... I moved uh, out of here probably like end of January, beginning of February. So before I left, I was like... I knew he had his little little boy. Shout out to Jerry and his family. Shout out to Gabby. Shout out to Tim. Mm. Um... Yeah, so he had his kid, like, New Year's. So, I like, before I left, I knew I was about to leave. I was like, damn, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, he just had his kid. Like, I went to his baby shower, popped up. I was trying to, I popped up on him a couple times to see the, 
to see Lil Mans. Because I've known Jerry since we was like, basically like Pine Grove for real, for real. Like since I. Oh, you went to Pine Grove too? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. We was talking about that. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> We all went to Pine Grove, but yeah, I remember just going to school with Jerry since the beginning. Like, I just remember Jerry since from when I can remember, you feel me? So it was like mm. my brother had a baby. I was trying to be around, you feel me? So I pulled up on him a few times before I moved out, but I haven't seen him a lot since. So just everybody I was cool. I haven't seen yeah, I haven't seen like nobody like since graduation basically type mm. stuff. There's been mad people like I was real close with Anthony Gamble. If y'all oh, know yeah, what happened yeah, with him, yeah, 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 I don't yeah. want to talk too much about that, but yeah, yeah. I, I was close with much. them. I haven't seen anybody that I was really close with in high school for real, for real. I feel like that's most people's experience, bro. Really? It's weird. Our class was like, we weren't really tight like that, you know. Like I, I noticed that shit at Seaside when we went for prom weekend, and it was like, damn, everybody like got their own little shit going. It's an interesting see you thing, walking bro. by, pretending they don't know who you are, and it's like. It's interesting that you say that because I agree with that part about seeing somebody in public and not acting and acting like you don't know them. Yeah. Because nah, I feel nah. like you could always tell a Franklin head. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, uh, it's almost like a radar. radar. Like, oh yeah, that's a Franklin head for sure. I saw you know a Franklin I mean? head just before I came in the pod. Literally, literally yeah. over there at the dollar store. You, you said, said what's up? up? Nah, she ignored me. Of course, you're. <laughs> <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? It's Ruth. Oh, oh, oh man. Shout out Ruth, by the way. She's cool people. Yeah, I haven't seen none of them or nobody for real, for real. But, like, yeah, it's that, that whole acting like you don't really know somebody shit. Like, knowing you was, like, pretty... Even if you really talk to them a little bit, like, just walking by them like you don't know them is pretty fucked up. Yeah. Bro, bro, you don't even got to do all that. Just be like, hey, what's up, be bro? Like, That's it. Yeah, facts. I don't know. Just me moving far even gave me a little bit more appreciation for shit like this. Like, because, mm. shit, I don't know when I'm going to see y'all again. Facts. Bro, so, sure. like, you know what I mean? Like, got to take stuff like this. You know what I mean? Not for granted, you feel me? Yeah, so, you gotta appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate nice. that shit. Yo, have you uh, have you talked to Stevie? Yo, even Stevie me and Steven one. barely talk. Like, that's yeah. how shit got. Like, the only people I really be keeping in contact with for real, for real is like Ant and Jerry from time to time, for real, for real. That's really it. Um, not even on some, like, I don't fuck with him. Because when I see him, it's all love. Like, anytime shit goes down, like his birthdays, I'm gonna be there. Shit like that. Shout out Steve. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. When they invite me, we hit, we just hit a Yankee game not too long ago. But hey, yeah. Yeah. we be doing shit like that, spontaneous shit, like from time to time. Now that I'm far, we be trying to do shit like where I could just pull up, we get active for a day, and then I'm out. Mm -hmm. Just a little drive from here to Lank Lancaster. Yeah. Damn, you live in Lancaster, bro. Holy shit. Right now, I'm working in King of Prussia right now, bro. You said where? King of Prussia. That's oh, yeah, yeah, nah, oh, yeah. I'm working Prussia, over there Prussia. right now. Yeah, nah. King of Prussia's tough. Hell I've, yeah. I've been over there a it's couple nice. times. Yeah, it's nice. This shit is a two-hour drive. Don't tell me you came over here just to be on this. N nah, I'll be coming oh, to see right. my mom. Spend time with my yeah, moms. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. So, like, me and her, yeah. Every time we talk, every time I pull up, me and her just be chatting for hours. Mm -hmm. Like, just about all types of shit. So, like, Anything and everything. Yep. I could imagine, bro, after not seeing your moms for, like... Yeah, well, let's say last please. time I seen her has been like three weeks, four weeks. Damn. Yo, bro, when I went to Columbia, I called my mom every single day, bro. Damn, for real? Every, Damn. Of course, hell yeah, every single day, bro. Sometimes when we would get back from a spot, I just update her, let her know what, what's up, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's just that connection, you know? You know, bro, I love my mom and I love my dad, you feel me? I've been with my mom, same as you, I've been with her every day of my life, damn near. Whenever I've gone on vacation, I, I don't, they don't even cross my mind. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> they, they be mentioning like it to me, too. But it's like, it's not even like a thought, you know? It's not that I don't want to. It's like, it's just. You're in the moment, you bro. Yeah, I'm just out here. Facts. Right. But yo, bro, just to get off, um, not really get off topic, but yo, like, I remember you, bro, being more chubbier. <laughs> No oh, cap. Gosh. Ever since we were like in elementary school, because I still remember you since elementary school. We just never really talked like that. But, I'll, you know, just the same way. We always knew each other. We yeah, were yeah, around, for, for, you know, yeah, real yeah. talk. But, like, how was that, bro? Like, tell me, bro, because I know you can relate heavy to me on that aspect. Like, what's it like being a fat boy? A heavy guy, yeah. Yeah, um, at a young age, bro. Tell yeah, me. Yeah, fat ass. Double wide. Yeah, yeah, Gumball. Yeah. 
Badass. No. <laughs> Yo, nah. Um, bro, just. No. <laughs> some people don't even believe me when I tell them. Yo, I used to be up like 220, 225. Damn. Bro. like that. 220. Yeah, yeah, like I used to be up there. Everything like, that's heavy. I know. Yeah. No I offense, used to, so. yeah, just being like big in high school, bro, you get picked on. That shit Facts. just makes you want to like, yo, the, yo <laughs> you, you just wanna... get things told to you like, that you don't want told to you sometimes. Totally like, people just be fucking with you sometimes that Facts. you don't want fucking with you. Damn. And then it'd be biting them in the ass because now, like, not to be mean, but there's a lot of people that used to make fun of me that look crazy. It'd be like that. It'd really be like I'll that. i that, bro. A lot of people gain Facts. a lot of weight. Karma. Mm. But, Karma yeah, bro, real. I just, um... To be honest, it all happened mad quick though. Like I got out of senior year, I wasn't, I was pretty chubby. And then once I hit college, it was more so like that senior after graduation, that summer heading into that first year of college for me. It was like I don't know what happened, but I was smoking heavy. Like I was mm. smoking all, like not even on some fiend shit, but it was like on some fiend shit. <laughs> but like I was smoking like three times a day. Yeah, shit. Damn. You think that is what like helped you lose weight? I wouldn't. I wasn't even on like a a weight late like a weight loss journey. Like I wasn't mm. going to the gym consistently. I was hitting the gym when I could, mm. but like I don't know, just just doing like I guess my everyday working. I guess just working, smoking, and not gonna lie, when you're working, trying to get like your hours in, you don't eat as mm. much as you should. Mm-hmm. So like that probably all like blend it all up just smoking not eating as much it was to be honest i i, I got to an unhealthy point unhealthy skinny like you were too skinny i yeah, know nicotine does that like nicotine makes people lose hella weight because it takes like they don't get the urge to eat anything they just want to smoke you mm. know yeah nah and i smoke nicotine <laughs> <laughs> so like nah like but it, it was never like it was never like uh, i never got to a point where i didn't want to eat nothing it was more so like everything that i was trying to eat which probably was the nick not gonna lie it was like i had a hard time taking things down like shit wouldn't oh. stay down for too long yeah it could have like, been like yeah mm-hmm. like i was throwing up a lot mm-hmm. yo can i ask you something how come you smoke three times a day like out of curiosity not even gonna lie it was just like some random shit it was like not, not like a lot of the times I wouldn't it wouldn't even be me buying the weed. Shit would just be throughout like a summer day, it would just be like, yo, you trying to smoke. It's like and the people I'm with, you feel me, they just yeah. spark me up. You feel me on some spontaneous shit. And sometimes I'm the one with the weed, you sparking them up. You feel me? So we roll up. Like it would be like a try to get a morning high in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those Take one during wake your break. breaks. Take and one then before you, going to sleep. You do some, you have fun, have a couple hours, smoke again, eat some. <laughs> Smoke before you go to sleep. Gotta go. Gotta do before you sleep. Smoke before you take a little nap at night. You feel me? For real. That'd be like the best sleep, bro. Real time. I'm gonna hold you. Do you feel like someone could get addicted to marijuana? Nah, because to be honest, I went to DR and went cold. Like I guess cold turkey. No, no marijuana at all for like Mm. a like it was like two weeks, and I didn't go through like uh, what's that thing called withdrawals. I wasn't fiending. I was enjoying my day like a normal person, just not yeah. high, you feel me? And it actually was like, them two weeks gave me like a, like, I, I don't need to like be Like a mental like, clarity. Like, yeah, time. like ever since yeah. them two weeks, I haven't been smoking as much, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, I've been trying to like, like, I'll just be with my little pen, take a couple hits here and there. And that's I feel like you enjoy it more when you don't do it that often. Exactly. You know? exactly. If it's like something you could look forward to at the end of the week, like shit, it's my day off. Let me let me relax, you know. Let me chill. Yeah, cause I, I used to smoke two a weeks. lot, bro. Freshman year, I used to do that shit damn near every day. God damn. And then one day I was like, you know what? Nah, fuck it. And I just stopped, and that was it. Didn't do it again for a whole year. Damn. That's how it was. Damn. I took that little break, and when I got back, I appreciated it more. I was like, yo, this shit is slapping. <laughs> this shit feel good. <laughs> yo, this shit is crazy. I'm like, not, yo, just smoking after a break. Right. feels good so i was like yo all right i'm, I'm gonna do this more often Perfect. and I, I don't smoke i i don't even smoke like the like bud for a, like i just be on my carts like mm. me too bro i'm the, the opposite apparently. i don't really fuck with carts i prefer the, the actual weed yeah yeah, yeah but no. i don't like smoking it rolled up though so i got um this shit called what the fuck is vaporizer? it called yeah vaporizer mm. 
So I grind it up, put it in there, and then smoke it. Damn near like a pen, but it's the actual bud. That's probably the best way, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just, I try to do it without having all the extra shit, you Because then you probably don't end up smelling too bad either. Mm-hmm. Like, I, bro, I got a, a smoke buddy. Blow this shit in there, you don't smell nothing. I do smoke it in my buddy. room. <laughs> do it in my room, you good. That's probably the best way then, no cap. For real, though. And you get 100% of the weed. Damn. Because I just smoked before I Not came here. Of vapor, right? I rolled it up. And I feel like that is probably way better than rolling it up, to be honest. Where are you high right now? I'm all right. I'm high, bro. I'm pretty I'm high. high. <laughs> I'm tight. Oh, damn. You want to talk about why? Bruh, on my way here, bro. I'm a stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Driving on the right lane. I'm cruising. I'm chilling. Having a good ass time. I'm excited. I'm like, yo, this nigga Chris, bro. I'm like, shit about to be a good one. I already know. Mm. I'm like, let's get it. Literally two minutes away. I'm down the fucking road, bro. And this fucking lady just comes into my lane and smacks against the side of me, bro. God damn. I'm like, fuck. Now I got to sit here looking all stupid. Being that one nigga that called the cop for a fucking side swipe. Facts. I'm like, man, I apologize to the cop too when he got there. I was like, yo, I'm sorry for calling you out here, bro. I know. Like, this shit ain't nothing to call you for. You feel me? Because nothing happened. But, like, I'm not trying to pay that deductible. So, (laughs) I'm going to need you to write that report. Damn, bro. Damn. Now, to pivot back to Chris and something you said earlier, when your parents split, do you feel like that affected you growing up? I feel like it's just all on how the the parents kind of handle it in front of you. You feel me? Like, because you're young. You don't you don't really know too much about what's going on. You just know things aren't going the best. You feel me? Because you nice. used to you're used to seeing them happy and we're waking up and everything's good. Right. And now my dad's living somewhere else, and my mom comes and it's like conversations that aren't ending too well. Like right. emotions are getting brought up, and then it's just like when it's not done the best way in front of like a young kid i guess you kind of come up like like i don't know like there my experience i feel like through that time where my parents were splitting up i kind of wanted more like i guess like affection like a regular affection like as a kid from your parents but they're too worried about what's going on between them that you're just kind of like and no one's asking you how you feel about it you feel me Mm -hmm. so like it's kind of like bottled up emotions through the years um, it kind of shows you, like, because everybody has a different experience with it, like, with their fathers and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, my experience with mine, I kind of took out how to act better in a relationship, how you could be better, what not mm. to do. My dad did a lot of things that just put my mom in a horrible place after it was just me and her, you feel me? Because I remember a while, I didn't see my dad for, like, a year and a half. Mm. He was in DR. And I was feeling like he's living his best life and I'm over here struggling. Sometimes we didn't have light. So, like, just knowing that he's in DR chilling, vibing with his other family now. Damn. And me and my mom are going through what we go through. I'm not trying to shit on my dad because he lives across the street from me now. You feel me? So <laughs> Wait, for real? Like, yeah, right now? In right, Lancaster? right now in Lancaster. The he's, that, he's the, yo, that's how me and my girl met, to be honest. But, like, my dad changed a lot since from, from... But he's still... He still has some bad tendencies that you can still see. And it, it fucks with you, you feel me? Like, because you want him to be better as you grow up. You want him to stop being that guy. Like, why are you still doing some of this nut shit? Mm. And then you see, like, in the other hand, my mom, I feel like, grew into this powerful woman. Like, she grew into this do it all by myself. I don't need nobody. Like, right. like grinding. Like, she was working two jobs from when I was like 12 to just up until now she just quit her second job I think Dang. last year or That's something good. like that cause I Yo, congrats I'm, to your mom bro real talk shout out to her you feel me so it's like shout out to my mom because she held it down like mm-hmm. to the when my dad wasn't there you feel me so like mm-hmm. that's why it's like me and my dad's relationship could be better like he lives across the street from me I go down there me and him talk all like but me and my mom's relationship is what matters to me, probably. Solid. Not not even trying to shit on it, because, you know, I love my parents equally. It's just me and my mom just go way stronger, way deeper. Way deeper you feel sure. me? And it fucks with you. Like, I guess, like how I said, like, you know, shit is kind of, you see things go down, and sometimes it reminds you of what used to go down when you were a kid. Like, Facts. now in my relationship, I don't want to, 
do things that make me think of like, yo, this is what my dad used to do. Mm. Right. Makes you want to just be a, your own different type of, like, yeah. a good person, but in a, like, just different from him. Like, I don't know. It's weird. I was going to say, bro, like, do you feel like any, any of those, like, things that you've seen as a kid, like, any of those experiences kind of transition to your relationships? Maybe not now, but prior to now? Uh, Because you were talking a lot about bottled up emotions were you very were you quick to talk about your emotions growing up yeah that's one thing me and my girl used to have but a lot about like she used to come at me a lot about like keeping my emotions in like not mm -hmm. saying anything and just when i would get upset just i would basically just want my own space to my own self like you would yeah. self-isolate so, yeah self-isolate because mm -hmm. that's what i always like that's what i'm used to you feel me right. i self-isolated for i don't know like since I could remember, you feel me? Like, I've been self-isolating my whole life. So, like, getting into a relationship where, you like, she's asking you, which a good woman should ask you to open up about what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. It was tough at first. There was nights where it, it wouldn't happen and then started slowly. Like, I used to, like, it would be me slowly opening up, opening up to where now me and her talk about, like, whatever. That's like, good, she bro. knows me yeah. in and out, like, like the back of her hand like she knows like my past like everything that like fucked with me as a kid mm -hmm. i told her all about that shit like Damn. it was a lot like she it was like hard as fuck for her to get it out of me right. but when she got it out of me she got it out of me like she got everything out of me. Mm. every drop i feel yeah. like that's something that a lot of men deal with though like something that's very common like growing up as a as a guy it's like yo like crying is for bitches for real, you know? like what you doing? Just deal with that shit on your own, bro. Ain't nothing happen. Fuck, sure. move on. Yeah, and then a lot of that goes through my head too. Like when I'm feeling it, because it's like, yo, like why am I crying about certain? Like not crying, but like feeling a certain way about certain shit. Mm -hmm. When I could just like be like, nah, like this doesn't affect me, but it does. You ever want to cry, but this shit just won't come out? Sometimes, yeah. Like, yeah. well, you, Chris. You ever want to cry, but the shit just won't come out? Yeah, yeah that's why I brought it up. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. That shit be happening all the time. Like, I want to feel like this shit impacts me emotionally. Like, I can I can register. It registers in my head, bro. I feel it. But it's like, you want to cry, but some something's just, it doesn't let it come out for some reason. Oh, it's like something that's telling you, like, this shit this is supposed to be make making me cry. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is some real fucked up shit but I can't that is cry. affecting me. But, like, I just can't. Yeah, bro, and sometimes, like, I'm going to speak for myself personally because I can't speak for no other man, but sometimes, like, I do want to feel, like, really sad, but I just, I tell myself I'll just get over it or I'll just work on it, like, internally mm -hmm. and just, like, let everything externally just, like, sit there. Like, for example, there would be times where I just wouldn't talk to my friends. Like, yeah, I wouldn't hit nobody up, talk to nobody, just because I wanted to deal with something internally by myself. And a lot of people go through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure you did that. I'm sure that happens with you as well and, and you too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I guess everybody handles it differently because I guess the way you handle it and the way I would handle it is, like, kind of different. You like to, like, I like to self-isolate sometimes, too. I'm pretty sure we all, oh, uh, every guy likes to self-isolate at a certain time, moment bro. during any, mm -hmm. you feel me? But, like, like how you say, like, you wouldn't talk to your friends. I feel like when I was feeling it, like, when I was going through, like, my emotions about how I feel like I grew up, like, in a not a fucked up childhood because I had a roof over my head. It could have been worse, mm -hmm. but, like. I guess my way of fucked up, just me thinking my way of fucked up. Um, I would like to like go out, like link up, like aunt or try and like keep your mind off. Yeah, or like school was a big way of like yeah, like I used to be like try to be like clownish, try mm -hmm. to joke around. That's a good way of handling it. Like when you're just like going through it, having somebody you could just joke around with, have a laugh with. Yeah. Yeah, like, that shit is just, medicine. yeah, laugh nice. is, I feel like, for me, the best. Like, I love to laugh. Like, what about you, Davey? Has there any ever been a time where you felt like crying? But I couldn't? Just, like, in general, you know? Honestly, bro, I feel like I got a problem. Because I don't really be feeling shit like that. Mm, I told you, know? you. Mr. Fucking Robot. Like, up until, up until, like, maybe a year ago, when some life-changing shit happened, I never really, like... I've thought about it and I've been like, there's something wrong with me because I'm like, why is it that I never feel this and I never feel that? 
but I don't know. I feel like my brain just be going, you know, like mm-hmm. it just goes and I don't got enough time to like process shit. Like it's fucked up and then something new just comes up and it's like, it is what it is. It's also my perspective on life though. Like if shit happened, like it's done already. It happened. Yeah. Can't do nothing about it. It's in the past. The fuck you gonna cry about? Yeah. It's done already. Crying ain't gonna do nothing. Which low key, there's nothing wrong with crying. That's just, I'm just weird. <laughs> That's just Davey's way of handling things, bro. It's just deal with it, you know? It's not about bad. you, Jason. Do you be crying? Yeah, bro. I be crying real talk. I'm not even Kevin. When was the last Sometimes time you, you cried? let that shit out. For yeah, real. Bro, my girl, true. yo, one day my girl literally told me, like, let that shit out. Because not to, like, cut y'all off, but it was just something that I was going through. Because my dad was something new. Like, something, like, that I wasn't expecting that he had. It was just not expecting moment. And I was going through it because it reminded me of what I was going through. And she just told me to let it out. Like, just let that shit out. I feel like I got to force myself to do that shit. I like cry. You know? Yeah. <laughs> nah, like, yeah. I, I've done that, though, because I know it's good to just let that shit out. You know? Yeah, like, it's, it's not yeah, good it's to nice. bottle it up. So, I've, like, forced myself to be like, all right, let me just, like, really concentrate, get in there. And it's like, all right, let's get this shit out. Nah, I'd be like that, though. <laughs> nah, bro. It's like a reset. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Well, I could relate to y'all in the sense of where I had to force myself to cry. It was like, I remember, like, I broke up with, like, one of my first serious girlfriends. And I was like, damn, I don't feel sad, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and I was God. like, you know, I was just in the car. I was like, I'm supposed to be crying right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, fucking lay less of sad music, you know? And I'm like, this shit did not work. <laughs> so at what point did it hit you where you started crying? I, I didn't cry. <laughs> like, oh, you didn't give a fuck? No. Not that I didn't give a fuck, but it's just like, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like my emotions are slow, low key. You know what I mean? How long were y'all together? Huh? <laughs> How long were y'all together? I think like a year. Damn, bro. Damn, so a year. I thought you, you don't feel say, shit when Yeah, I thought up. you were going to say like four or five months. I think that was the, the first time. I'm not, I don't remember. I don't remember how it was. Year, I think it was two times I broke up with her. No. But I just know it was like It happened though You know what I mean But other than that The only time I ever cry Is like Cause I, I basically Raised my little brother right But whenever you know You look at your little brother And you see For me whenever I see A baby picture of him I'm like I can't stand but cry right Cause I'm like Damn time has really went by I feel like a father You know what I mean Honestly Like I don't You know it's It's, it's weird But it's like That's what triggers me for I the cried moment. looking at my dog One time but not, not like a whole like breakdown crying, but like I started tearing up. I was like, "Damn, bro, that's my little nigga." Right <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy, Max. Like, Max. Son, bro, like, <laughs> yo, we've ne- yo. By the way, we've never seen this man's dog. Well, I haven't seen. You've seen dog. pictures of. Him. Oh fuck you, so you gotta show him. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually come around him, bro. Me and my girl actually this. trying planning on getting a dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I recommend it, bro. It's. This man baby like Drake with his dog, bro. That's like his son that he hides from the world. <laughs> hiding that real. Real. What kind of He's a dog? black Labrador retriever mixed with a Belgian Malinois. That dog. sounds fancy as hell. That's a bougie ass. Yeah, lucky dog. with him, bro. This nigga's from Texas. Damn. Damn. He's a rescue, bro. Um, what they told me was that his mom got pregnant and then the parents just kicked her out the house. Damn. So then they flew her from over there to here. She gave birth. Yeah, now we got Max. For real. We I, wanna, new <laughs> I wanna pivot back to the whole emotional thing. Cause I wanna ask y'all a question, like a real deal question. Like, have y'all ever or would y'all ever cry in front of a girl? I have cried in front of a good girl. Really? Yeah. I have How too. long did you know the girl? Or like Fuck you met years. Yeah. Yeah. It was would, my ex. Yeah. Would uh-huh. you cry in front of a girl you met for like three months or something like that? Nah, that's crazy. I ain't no bitch. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Facts, uh, that's gonna take a while for you to see that one, bro. Right? Am yeah, yeah. Things? Nah, but like, like I said, my girl told me to let it out one day, and it was literally in front of her, where it was just like, I let it out. So it was like we had been together up to, it was like two and a half years up to that point. So mm-hmm. I was pretty comfortable. Right. So yeah, it happened definitely in front of her. What about y'all? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I wouldn't do it too <clears throat> too new into the relationship. Yeah, bro. Nice. but have you ever though? Oh, have I ever? Yeah. I low key, I my Don't girl, my me. girl doesn't even know this, bro. So I, this is this Exclusive. how much this how much of a of, of the truth I'm really saying, bro. Cause she don't even know, and she know me like the back of her hand type shit, mm-hmm. bro. Sometimes I've cried, but it'd be like behind her like she would never notice mm. like, like i'll be like, like she's sleeping over she got her back to you and you're crying 
Yeah, yeah bro. I swear, <laughs> bro. I swear, bro. It really be sometimes. been together? Like a year and a half now, almost, bro, bro. bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I remember, yo. She dead ass though. I'm so serious, bro. Cause sometimes shit just be hitting different at night, bro. When you, you when you're all alone. What that? it was that caused it? It was some family shit. Oh, yeah, man. some family shit. But yeah, bro. I, I have a uh, in sneaky situations like it'd be like uh, some shit where I'm like, damn, like. Oh, I'm saying, got the yeah. six. <laughs> or like I just be chilling like this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it be on some sneaky <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Hey, what about you? Yeah. Have ever what? Yeah, you ever, yeah, have you ever yeah. cried in front of a girl? Oh, yeah, I have, bro. And it was for the same reason, bro. Because <laughs> I was like, yo, because... Oh. So you didn't cry when y'all broke up? No, I, I did cry. Like, in the, when I, when it was, like, finally. You know what I mean? But that was, like, the first breakup. Mm. Just no talks relationships are weird, bro. That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, but, like, um... But I, I just know, I was like, I was just like, I was ranting about life one day, right, to her. And I was just like, I was just like, yo, like, I hope he, <laughs> I was like, I hope he grows up to be a good person, you know what I mean? You know that? Oh, you were ranting about your brother. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, yo, I just want really the best for this man. man. You know what I mean? And then I started crying. And then she's like, she started smiling. But then in my in my head, I'm just like, why the fuck am I crying right now? You know what I mean? Like, Once she starts smiling, because. It's like she's been waiting for that moment, bro. And I'm like, hell no. You think she told the friend group after that? I definitely. I don't know. Definitely All I know is that. I'm never doing that shit again. <laughs> like, not yet. Until I'm, re- until I'm with someone for a little while. Then yeah, you know. You ever cry tears of joy though? Definitely. Mm, probably like just laughing mad hard. Like I saw him. Like I'd be sure. crying. Yeah, I, tears do come out of me when I laugh like hard as fuck. <laughs> I start crying for real, for real. Damn. Uh, bro. Just like thinking about life, you know. It's just like, damn. Like I made it far, and I still got a long way to go. That shit, I just be happy because I'm like, fuck, I can't wait to see, like, what else there is. Shit, bro, you're only 26, bro. I'm not even 26. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. I'm only 22, fool. Nah, Damn, nah. I am 22. Yeah. Crazy. It is crazy, bro. How you feel about that, bro? Being that you came from that household to now living in a crib that you own with your girl. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely feel, uh, blah, blah. definitely feel good um i feel like coming from like i guess not trying to i guess uh shit on how i grew up or anything but just going from like i guess small room with my mom poverty i grew up in poverty for real, for real? yeah we can call it what it is yeah. i grew up in the grove <laughs> yeah. so it was like we kind of at that time like growing up it was like kind of the the grove was like yeah the, it was the, worse the grove bad, bad. Grove i was growing up in the back grove you feel me? now it's like, calmed down though but definitely yeah the whole, the whole area down. is more like it used to be like bad. how you say like gentrified like mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's definitely God, a lot more, yeah de- definitely a lot more calm but like just going from like small room with my mom like i was with my mom and she still lives in the crib i was living with her in um in north brunswick just going from like a small room i felt like i was outgrowing to to my own space, to my own crib, feeling comfortable um, with, with with my girl. It's just like, sometimes I just be feeling like it's, like, damn, is this shit, like, for real? Like, was it real? Yeah, like, I be waking up sometimes feeling, like, a little grateful, like, damn, like, waking up next to her in her house, yeah. food in our fridge. My, my food. You know what I mean? Like. I do with a game room downstairs that I can just go hop in my own man cave. Like, I feel kind of blessed to be at it and have it in, at 21. Mm, uh, hell yeah. I didn't think, not me, give me a, like, going back a couple years, you tell me, would you think you'd be here now? I'd be like, nah. Do you feel like your girl motivated you to make these, like, big decisions in your life? She definitely motivated, motivated me to do a lot. Like, she's the one... She, she's the one who kind of made me get out of my shell. Like, mm-hmm. she made me socialize more, like, with people. Like, she brought me out more, like, f- like uh, get-togethers with her friends that she works with, like, white people. Like, hey. I was not used to that. <laughs> but, like, yeah, they're all cool people. Like, everybody down there is cool people, you feel me? So it's like, I had to stop feeling like I got to be in the house and just shut in my own, not me, in my, in my crib. Going outside is also 
good, oh, fun. Socializing is good. It's a good little, like, it's healthy. Like, talking to people, yeah. getting some conversations in with people you don't really talk to every day. Exactly. Um, I feel like that shit is really good for you. And um, I, she definitely motivated me to, like, do better with, like, job-wise. Because, like, when she met me, I was fucking busting my ass at FedEx. Mm. And now, like, I'm busting my ass, but I'm roofing, you feel me? Like, I'm, hey. I'm in a better profession, you feel me? It's a better handle. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, facts. She motivated yeah, me. after two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, she, she helped me get my car. She's the one who was, like, helping me go through, like, the process. Like, she's the one who be calling people for me. Right. Yeah, she helps me out a lot, bro. A lot, which is why I think of her so highly. Like, hey. she helps me out with a lot. Like, a lot of things... You feel me that I wouldn't have think I would have got done by myself, mm-hmm. especially like this crib thing. Like, she just she'd been there for me through whatever, and she definitely motivated me to like change for a better person, be a better person. Because when she met me, I was kind of like, like I said, like in my shell, not talking a lot. Um, when I get pissed, I just bang the phone on her and not talk to her like mm-hmm. for I don't know like till I feel like talking to her again. And it's not like that no more. Like I feel like. We're communicating on a whole nother level now. Mm. Communication is key. Facts. Especially in a long distance, because you feel me? We was doing the long distance shit for like damn near two years before we moved in. Having a long distance from New Jersey to Lancaster is pretty hard, you feel me? Definitely, bro. Yeah, it got hard. Like, it was a lot of times where we didn't think we could, we could, we didn't think we could do it. Mm. But we got through whatever we was going through. And shout out to her because she definitely changed me for the better. Hell yeah. That's what's up, bro. For sure, bro. I'm a lot more, like, calmer. More sociable. Like, sociable. Like, yeah, like, she's definitely up, like, my skills. Just talking to, like, randoms. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, she she helped me out with everything for me. I feel like that makes you a lot more confident in yourself. Facts. Like, being able to just talk to strangers and, you know, being comfortable with that. Because a lot of people can't do that shit. True. She does that every day. You feel well. I mean, you feel me. She works at a bank, so you feel me. She, mm-hmm. her, her like, her, yeah, her customer service skills yeah. are like. Tch, she knows how to talk. Like, feel me. Got that customer service, service voice. Man. For real, though. It's a real thing. <laughs> nah, yeah. It's like she know. She taught me a whole another level of patience. Like being patient with someone, like like with a girl. Like sometimes you think shit could be like all oh, good, but when when the rough moments come, you gotta be hella patient. For real, though. But I, I got a question, though, bro. You said that you went to college? For a short stint. I went to Universal Technical Institute, UTI, up in Bloomfield. Um, I was, like, probably halfway done b- mm-hmm. before COVID hit. Mm-hmm. And they made it online. And I felt like if I'm trying to be a mechanical engineer... You can't really learn I'm that not shit about online. I'm not to learn that shit through a exactly. computer screen. And you're, char- yeah. you're charging me mad bread. I'm good. I'm I'm out. You feel me? So I kind of had to steer another path, like try to find my way, which is which is a kind of hard at the moment because like just trying to trying to like, not really trying to dropping what you're going to college for, and just free balling for a little bit, right. trying to figure out what you're about to do next is, it's rough for a little bit. It is rough, bro. Did you feel like? Um because, of course, after uh, graduating high school, it's kind of like the world is your oyster now. You kind of make of it what you want to make of it. Do you ever f- did you ever feel, like, confused on what you wanted to do with your life? I felt confused, like, all the time. I like, still feel yeah, confused. Yeah, like, I still feel like, like, like do, I, do I want to do this? Like, I, I felt like now, up until, like, last year probably, like, when I would, yeah, it was like I wanted to get into construction for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Any type of construction, just getting my hands on experience like now. Like, I wanted to start it now so, like, I could start young, get my skills up, and eventually be my own foreman or some shit. Sure. Like, have my own crew or something. Like, sure. I'll be my own boss. Um, but up until I figured out, like, going down this way, um, I was very confused. Like, I didn't know what to do. Like, mm-hmm. um, I was working in a warehouse. Uh, which was a, it was a decent job, but like you know, working at a warehouse, I don't know if you ever. Yeah, I used to work at UPS. I was yeah, a loader. Like, working at a warehouse is just like you feel like after a little while, like, you never want to come back though. You gotta go like, like that. You never want to come back. Like you want it to be just your first couple jobs working at a warehouse. You don't want to go back because 
you bust your ass all day and you feel like you're doing it. You don't really see where your work is going. I felt like where I was working, like I'm doing all this and I don't even feel like I'm progressing. Like helping no like I don't know, like I feel like as a roofer, like you see where your work goes. You exactly. put a roof on, a, you see on somebody's house. And you're seeing your skill yeah, level go up more and more. Like you see where your work oh, goes. Oh yeah, you see the progress. Yeah, like the yeah, progress, bro. like you feel me? I felt like I was at a workhouse working like every day at a dead end job, like Right. I feel like it's also no the people shame. around you, too. Yeah, no shame to the people over there, but... Because, you know, people get their money the way they got to get money. There's grinders Facts, and there's people that have been doing it for mad long. The world couldn't run without these people. Yeah, they can't. They really can't run without them people, but they're some strong motherfuckers because I couldn't do it for that long. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I was going to big while working at UPS, bro. Having to pick that shit up is like, nah, you can't struggle. You just got to fucking go. Just pick that shit up and put it there. That's it. Not to get too off track, though. I just remembered... One time that I did cry, uh, <laughs> the first time that I listened to Kanye West, Lost in the World. Because, like, at that time, I didn't know what the fuck, you know, I was really doing. Like, I had an idea, but I didn't know how to get there. You know, like, there was no path. I just saw, like, that's where I want to be. I don't know where the fuck I am, though. So, listening to that shit, I was like, damn, nigga, I am lost in the world. I started crying to that shit. <laughs> But yeah, I just remembered um, one of you said you lost in the world. And I was like, oh shit, that happened. I cried. Yeah. <laughs> I cried. I cried. Man. But shit, going off that, bro, I feel like a lot of people are lost in the world, bro. I feel like a lot of the, uh, a lot of our class got scooped into these jobs. Like, Amazon. you know, FedEx, Amazon, UPS. Like, I'm sure like probably some people from our class are still working there. And shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? Get your money for sure, for sure. But, like, switching from those type of jobs to construction now, are you happier? I would say I'm definitely a lot more happier. I think I kind of, I feel like I kind of got blessed with the position I got with my Amish people. You feel me? Because I mm -hmm. fuck with them. Like, to be yeah, honest, like, yeah. you wouldn't think, like, you would think it would be weird. But, like, I, like, the, the, the people I'm working with, mm -hmm. mad cool. Like, I couldn't ask for, like, cooler people to, like, start That's working. Right, especially, yeah. like, at a job where you're, like, you need kind of, yeah. like, and assistance you show you because, like, the hammer, you're, you're, you're yeah you're like you're yeah. roofing this is all new to you and i don't know how to put a shingle down right. they're the nicest people you could ask for for like training those they'll, they'll sit with you patient talk to you everything is coming respectfully and then like i said like once you warm up with them everything is just like cool and i feel like i just that shit crazy bro just i'm so bro. surprised like genuinely surprised because i've heard jason's stories with the people that he works with bro and like it just sounds like totally opposite, opposite <laughs> bro. yeah bro, bro. this is yeah. why like i was telling him like it all depends on who you work with yeah for because that's why i say i got blessed cause. yeah you got lucky because bro like i started with my dad and we're talking about i started with some mexican mexican yeah. motherfuckers you know what i mean and we're talking about motherfuckers that just crossed ready to fucking grind and on top of that they on your ass if you fuck up you fuck up and you getting you get they getting told to do the garbage you're not you're not coming back up until like maybe later on in the day you know what i mean like bro these motherfuckers will take that shit seriously bro that's why when i hear that i'm like Yo, that's good bro that they're patient with you bro yeah yeah because that's what matters the most you don't want a motherfucker screaming at you in your face bro i feel like if you had that type of motherfucker you probably would have been left yeah bro because that's how it is sometimes, bro. I'm not going to lie, though, bro. Like, sometimes you learn from that. Well, me, I'm not going to I could kind of be a little bit of hardhead. So that's yeah. why I learned, like, like that, right? Don't get me wrong. There was days where I'm like, fuck construction. I hate construction. I'm yeah, for real. There'd be days where I'm, you know? Like, this shit dragging. For real, After though. a long ass yeah, day. Yeah, Or, like, when it's, like, 90 degrees, bro. Huh? Oh. Yo, because you got to think, like, it's 90 outside. Well, it's a hundred like 10 yeah. degrees higher yes like 15 degrees higher that's what i told him it's 10 degrees there's no more. shade mm -mm. the sun is beaming you yeah. you got that and black in my neck it's straight toasted. reflect light. light and on top of that bro what you're holding is hot yeah the shingles get hot hot the, the thing and yo, it starts to melt oh fuck bro and then it starts to look a little yo, shitty sometimes you on a roof where you feel like any little wrong movement you could die die Word. yeah yo, you could die yo because we be up there no harness no, nothing. It'd be like just that. be Tarzan in our asses up around. Same. Shingles all Same, around the building bro. and shit. <laughs> and people be all looking from the street like, yo, like, I don't use, yo, people be calling us crazy. But like, yo, we just getting a job done. For real, though. But like, we know how to, we know what we're doing. You feel me? We got our good shoes on that keep us hey. up there. You feel me? The Cooper Paws. Cooper Paws. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jason happy as hell right Yo, now. Yo, um, I love that he knows that shit. Yeah, 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 it's some shit. Real shit, shit bro. Yeah, oh it's my like some god. Shoes with, like some extra padding on the bottom. Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah. I know you're that won't about. let you slip, and you can walk on it. Real tug, or like you know, let's just say that shit is steep, bro. Like you can. Do you guys use sponges too, or not? Bro, don't tell me y'all put sponges on the ground. No, you know what sponge? You know, okay, so what? What? You don't know what sponges, baby? You, you know, sometimes know the couches, what a sponge is. couches and sofas have couches couches sponges. In them. Yeah, yeah. Spon- sometimes like people cut them and use them to be on steep. Like, it depends. We got but, pitch hoppers. Really? Yeah, they're like the little black things you could like. Yeah, yeah the up. black thing. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, bro, I haven't got one of those yet. Them shit's just a one, bro. You feel way better with. with a pitch God hopper. damn, bro! I've been seeing them all the time though at the supply store, they're bro. The best. The best. <laughs> because yo, y'all I'm like, talking about this shit. <laughs> nah, because when you're on the roof and you really feel like you could die, like I don't know, like have you, yo, like you get on a roof, you don't think it's that high. When you get up there, you pull up to a roof, like you look at it, be like, all right, you could get on that. But when you're up there, up there, like on the highest part of some some of these houses, right? You know, yeah, putting that man, cap. It's not even that. It, it, it's it's also the the pitch. If it's like a, a nine or a ten yeah, or an bro. eight, it's how steep the yeah of course yeah. it's hard to keep your feet up there like you gotta uh, basically keep your feet like like this planted with yeah. your ankle to, like you know what I mean it's hard you, you feel ever me seen anybody this? fall either of you um I haven't seen I've fallen off a roof <laughs> you fall off a ladder or I fall off a ladder and I fell off a roof oh Damn. my god yeah I was doing a metal roof in North Carolina bro when, when I fell okay so I was in North Carolina right and we were putting down a metal roof because I've never done metal roofing before. Nah, I haven't done one either. But that was, I was doing it over there. And all of a sudden, boom, we put one of the panels down. And I remember my cousin was like, yo, don't step on it until I screw it, right? I heard him screwing it. And I'm like, okay, that shit, okay, I can step. Boom, I'm walking. I step. I'm sliding with that fucking panel, bro. And thank God it was on the front, in, uh, the front of the house. Because, like, the back of the house was just a hill, bro. I could have died. Real talk. I fell in the front. It was in front of the guys who we were doing the house with. And he laughed. He's like, are you okay? He laughed oh, at you? I got up oh, fast. I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. fine. I feel like if I was him, I would have been tight. You I'd be like, nigga, you're a liability. Like, <laughs> <"What's the laughs> I was like, fuck. Oh, I got up. I got a fast as fuck, bro. I felt the sharpest pain in my back, bro. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, I'm going to go get lunch. I'm going to go get them lunch. I'm going to go get them lunch, bro. <laughs> but yeah, bro, shit. Like... Life as a roofer is fucking different, bro. Yo, facts. Yo, knee pads, like, they work, bro. They're good. But it's like, when it's hot out, bro, that shit be I don't use them. You don't use them? Nah. I use them, bro. No. Be real, man. Fuck you. <laughs> I've been doing that shit when I was a yo, kid, but... I don't think, yo, that the dehydration you go through as a roofer sometimes, yeah. too, bro, is crazy. Like, you gotta get one of those military yeah. backpacks that got the water, bro. I got one of them, but I don't I, bring it to I got work. one. But I got, yo, people were, like, making fun of that shit. Is that why you should have made fun of them? Yeah, I feel like I'll get made fun of with one yeah. of them backpacks. They're like, bro, like, the water, the cooler's downstairs. I'm like, damn, I gotta, yeah, I gotta go down, down the ladder to get that shit. Yeah, yeah. fact. And not, it's not like you can keep it up there. Where the fuck you can put it? Sometimes there's, like, nowhere to put, like, yeah, a cooler. Yeah, my, yo, my, my water jug has flown off roofs. Um, Facts, bro. Yeah, bro. It's fucking you gotta smack be real, somebody man. on the way down. <laughs> damn. Oh, shit. Nah, but, like, is that, like, natural in y'all type of work environments where, like, if, like, you can't do something or, like, if you kind of take, not, like, a bitch way, but, like, kind of, like, some something that nobody else does, like, you'll stick out and people make fun of you? Is that no? Is that normal? In construction? Well, what do you when mean? You're, like, when you're around people that have been doing it for a while, like, if you're doing some newbie shit. Yeah. Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Some shit like, for example, like that thing with the wa- with the wa- yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. with the water <laughs> shit or like <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Um, shit. Yo, know, sometimes these motherfuckers make up ridiculous fucking. They they just crack a joke because they got nothing else to say. Right? Yeah. Like they'll be like, bro. I remember I got some like knee pads, right? And so so I got some knee pads, right? And these motherfuckers look like some Iron Man type. Like it, and these motherfuckers are like, oh look, it's fucking Iron Man. Like look, bro. They they be like, yo, let me let me see your knee pads. I'm go. like, they're like, bro, they're like, why is this shit so big? I'm like, right, I'm like, bro, it's extra comfy, bro. This shit not gonna break. Like, I thought you were about to good. say they saw you with the knee pads and they were like, oh, you use that shit at home with your man? Shut up, <laughs> yo. They be saying stupid shit like that, bro. I'm telling you, but yo, oh, I forgot to mention, I, I do that and I do like flat roof. That's the reason why I use um, knee pads for the most part. You know what I mean? For the most I'm assuming a flat roof is just a flat roof. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Speaking about falling off, though, my coworker actually recently, like, just started back from a fall off a roof where he supposedly went through, like, someone's, like, whole backyard God thing. Damn. I was like, yeah, like, he like felt their like, patio? He fell like, through a, a fell through, right through. God damn. damn. Supposedly he, like, it was bad, like, but he's back up. Damn, it it took him a little while to, like, get into the edge of some roofs. Like, he was just, like, Scared. not with it. But, like, yeah. now he's... Man, I can imagine, bro. Yeah, but yeah. at the end of the day, you got to get that bread, bro. All the time. The Amish people, do they, like, for example, let's say he had to go to a hospital. Do they have, like, their own type of hospital? Or is it just a regular hospital? Mm. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I haven't seen, like, a specific, like, just Amish hospital. Mm. But, like, whenever when anything goes down, like... To be honest, they try to just heal it on the spot, and if not, they'll heal it at home later or something like. Right. They, they they're like the on remedies. some. They got the cool little. They, yeah, they <laughs> probably. <laughs> I seen some Amish people at the hospital, and they they just be on their own type of timing. You know what I mean? I yeah. never really interacted with much. Yeah, I would have to just like to describe them. They to just like they live life as plainly as possible. Minimalist. Like yeah, like they don't they don't socialize with outsiders as much. They try to just keep to their community, you feel me? Like, right. they, they all know each other. Like, they're all, they, they know each other by first and last tight name. Tight-knit, very tight-knit, you feel me? Um, they live, like, like I said, no electricity, no car, no phones. They got a, literally, like, one of them booty-ass. Like a like Kia? A key, like, no like Kia one of them type. booty phones, like, with the yeah, keypad yeah. on it and then the little screen. Oh, barely wow. gets surface when it rains. Damn. But they make life work, you feel me? And sometimes I look at them like, damn, like, they're living plain as hell and they're happy as hell. Right. Like, they're, you just, you literally never see, like, an angry Amish dude. Like, you see all them happy as hell. Do you ever feel like social media or, like, technology does that to you? Yeah, which is why I kind of, like, I love my hours at work, you feel me? Because it takes away, like, I don't be on my phone. I try to cut my phone time off. Mm -hmm. uh instagram like try not to be on it as much right. if i'm on my phone i'm either on youtube probably watching a document like a serial killer documentary or something that's what i'm into like yeah, netflix same, the, the the youtube you know stuff like that because i'm I, I don't like feeling like stuck on social media like because then you just i don't know it's like you know what I mean. Like, it's almost like you can't make stuck. up your own opinion, bro. Yeah, like, oh, so that's many you're worried about all, all these other opinions. Yeah. Yeah. And how Everybody, other people are living. Yeah. The thing about social media is, like, it's so easy to compare, you know? Right. Like, you see everybody, because they're, they're only going to show you the good shit, you nice. know what I mean? Like, you see this man, he just got a nice-ass car, he got a crib, got the jewelry on and shit. Whole time, this nigga's in debt. Right. But all you see is, like, damn, he got all that shit that I don't the have. Lifestyle. For real. So, mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly how it is. Which is why I try not to be on it as much. That's what I kind of realized coming up. You feel me? Um, I feel like not using it as much. You just like, I don't know. I feel sometimes I'm on my phone and I'm thinking to myself, like, why the fuck am I on Instagram right now? Like, I could be Yo, doing something more, more productive. Facts, like, like, this shit boring. Like, it gets boring sometimes. Just seeing the same old shit. Sometimes you see the same people post the same shit. Facts. Sometimes you feel things can be enforced down your way. Facts, though. And, um, I'd rather not, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, and I don't, like, give my opinion out either. Like, I'm not one of them people that post, this is how I feel about this, this, and this. Get this right. shit off my timeline. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna back away from it. Like, yeah. Cause I don't really care. Like every, I could be doing what y'all doing on IG. I'm just gonna chill. Just do you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just do me. Thanks, man. But damn, bro, had a good time. But y'all got any final questions? We've been at it for an hour twenty. Holy shit! Hour twenty. Hold on, I got this. I got the final question, bro. So being that you came up from how you came up, and now you're doing things with your girl, got a crib, working a great job with great people, bro. Could you give any advice to someone in your position? Like, let's say you were talking to your younger self. Do you have any advice for them? That's tough. I would just probably say, um, keep your head up. And, and keep your head up. That's it. <laughs> keep your head up. Keep your head up. And just also keep grinding. Like, don't Hell stop yeah. grinding. Like, because mm -hmm. everything is going to work out. Like, you put the time in. You put the effort in. And 
you do things correctly, you put things, you put the pieces of the puzzle together slowly. It's not gonna be fast. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be in a like all in an instant. Sometimes some things are gonna take time. Mm -hmm. Gotta have patience, and everything will come your way, slowly but surely. You feel me? Facts. Don't believe the hype. Facts. That's but JDC Pod, yeah. man. Shout out to the JDC for having me on. Corey, hey, hey. shout out to Chris for popping out. For real, bro. Know. Thanks for that note. Feel me? Wow. Catch you on the next pod. We out. Peace. Peace.